LumaFusion 1.3 is a massive update that brings with it a host of incredible new features and improvements making the Best Pro Editor on iOS even better, and in this video I'm going to share what I think are the best 5 new features. Coming in at number 5 we have a beautiful interface redesign that not only looks great on all device sizes but makes editing much faster. Two of my favourite new features are the Clip Toolbox which allows you to quickly get clip info, make slip edits, apply frame and fit and colour and effects presets without having to open the editor, as well as quickly copy and paste clip attributes. Below this we have the all new Quick Add tool that allows you to insert voiceovers, transitions, blank clips and titles without having to leave the timeline. Both of these new features save a huge amount of time and help you stay focused on your edit. In the number 4 spot is the ability to double tap in the viewer to quickly switch to a full screen playback mode. Whilst this is incredibly simple, being able to quickly watch your edit full screen, especially on small devices, is most welcome. You can return to the standard layout by double tapping again. In the number 3 position we have the ability to export audio only. This makes it easy to send your project's audio for further refinements in editors like AudioShare, as well as doors such as GarageBand or Aurea for mixing and mastering, then bringing it back into LumaFusion before export. Coming in at number 2 is the ability to edit and export 360 video thanks to the all new metadata injection options, and this has been working flawlessly with video shot on my Insta360 Nano. Just import your 360 video and set your aspect ratio under project settings to 2 to 1 and edit as you would a regular video. You can add titles, effects and transitions. Then tap to export your movie, select your destination and scroll down to the all new 360 VR settings and set this to 360 mono, it's that simple. Export it, then upload it to any platform that supports 360 video like YouTube and it will play back flawlessly. I can't get over how easy it is. And my number one best new feature in LumaFusion is the ability to export and restore project archives, making the backup and transfer of entire projects and all media contained therein an absolute breeze. With the project open, just tap export in the viewer and select project archive and you can choose a destination including other app for third party apps as well as airdrop. You can even choose what is included in your project archive and select between no media which is the equivalent of exporting an EDL, trimmed media which will just include the media actually used in your timeline, and full original media which will include all clips used in your project in their entirety. Then just tap to export and select your share option. I'll copy to Goodreader which is my favourite media management app. I'll then return to LumaFusion, open the project manager and delete my project. Now I can jump back to Goodreader, tap and hold on my project archive, and choose open in and copy to LumaFusion and my entire project is restored ready for editing. If you saved a project archive to cloud storage this can be imported from the project manager by tapping the import button and choosing the relevant source. Alright I hope this helped you out and brought you up to speed with just some of the many new features found in LumaFusion 1.3. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more mobile content creation tips, reviews and tutorials. And if you want to really master this app, check out the epic guide to LumaFusion at epictutorials.com for the ultimate in-depth guide. Thanks a lot for watching, my name is Elliot Fitzroy for Epic Tutorials.